What's up, boys? It's the boy, Big Az. Now, finally... Technical difficulties in the... Finally, I have watched The Boys. The Boys, The Boys, The Boys, season four. Now, bit of backstory, I love The Boys, but I had no urge to watch this season when it came out. When I saw season three, I really liked it. I thought Soldier Boy was top notch, you know, a real good ad. Um, now, just to clarify, there's not going to be any spoilers for about a minute, and then I'm going to spoil the shit out of it, so you do with that how you want. But it's basically, I really enjoyed it. I don't think it's as good as previous seasons. Everyone says that. Very political. Uh, which I like, but I also don't like. You know, so it got to like episode six, seven. I'm like, holy shit, we are seriously trying to cram everything possible, you know, that you actually can. You know, there's like this American Starfire, whatever she's called, Starlight, I don't know, fuck knows. And she's like this cowboy who speaks about, you know, right wing policies and abortions are bad. And I'm like, well, this guy's clearly a Donald Trump person, which I don't agree with, you know, I don't think that's true. And then you have this lefty loot, like fucking donkeys as well, who are all like, oh, yes, I'm good, I'm this and that, we need to ban them all. You know, they're all as bad as each other, whatever. Film and TV should be an escape, and it's just a constant reminder of like, fucking hell, we are seriously a day away from being in The Boys, just without heroes, which is crazy. Ugh. Overall, you know, if I was giving it um, a rating, just I'll tell you it now and then go into more after, I'd probably give it like a 70, 75 it was good, I enjoyed it, there's not many memorable moments, um, you know, I'm going to go into spoilers now. I did kind of want Soldier Boy to appear, so I'm a little bit annoyed, but that's just my preference, you know what I mean? It's like going into McDonald's and you don't order the Big Mac, it's like, why the fuck would you go? You know, I wanted Soldier Boy to be there because I thought he was like one of the best, I, I think he's the best character in the show when they brought him in, I think he's just brilliant, or one of the best, you know, one season's only had this, you know, anyway, <clears throat> firstly, Homelander needs an Oscar immediately. I've written some notes because I'm very ADHD and can't think or follow a path, so I've written a few notes. Every time Anthony Starr is on screen, I feel scared. This guy is pure evil. I mean, the best thing is just, like, at the end. And it's so subtle, but present speaking, this, that, and the other, and how the soups have all been called in because they're going full, you know, um, concentration. You know, soups are going to start rounding people up, potentially. And then... Um, you know, he just interrupts the president and the president has no other option but to let him speak because he could flick him like that, you know, and I think that just sums it up. He's just so subtly evil and I, I'm, he needs an award. He needs his name somewhere good because this guy is incredible. I love the deep. I think he's just a fucking idiot. You know, he's just cannon fodder and he's just cannon fodder for constant barragement of hate. A-Train has is great. I'm glad he made it out. He's going to die, bro. No way A-Train has a happy ending. But maybe he does, and I hope he does, because I think the way they've treated him over the past three, four seasons, building up to this bit of a C-U-N-T, then he's changed. You know, I like that. Firecracker, I find really annoying. I've already mentioned her a bit. She's just fucking annoying. She was just put in the film just for that one milk scene, and don't kid yourself otherwise, that is it. And I like that milk scene. Dang. But you know what I mean, it's just a bit like, like, if you take her out, not much is missed except that, would you say? I've, you tell me. Now, in terms of the the seven, um, or the members of the seven, I don't even know if there is seven of them, that's more or less, isn't it? Uh, Black Noir, what the fuck was that? I mean, if they've got someone else in, it's like this sort of meme, this joke that he falls asleep, like, I don't, you know, Black Noir you can replace because you don't see his face. But, you know, it's just another pointless character, in my opinion. Like, he's just there for that one fight scene and to have a sleep joke and to, you know, just be as useless as uh, the deep. Now on to the boys. Straight away, I hated Kimiko Frenchie and that other guy's story. I mean, what, the f what was the point of that? If you remove that whole arc, Kimiko and Frenchie are in the same place from the start to the end. They're together, they're a bit flaky, and then he cheats on her, then he hands himself into prison for some dumbass reason once they've done that they're back together it's so pointless you know it's so pointless and i love kimiko and i love Frenchie. and it's just like this was such a wasted season for them you know she he cheats on over a man like that was so purposely put in there and i don't care all right that it's a man but it doesn't contribute to the story i think it's pretty clear Frenchie's a fruity guy, you know, he probably would fuck anything with a hole, let's put it like that, and I think the beauty of him in Kimiko was that he found this person that he fell in love with like that, 
and they kind of ruined it because he cheated on her basically and what are they together are they not together you tell me all right um and like i said if he wants to dip his knob in a woman uh, a man who cares it just takes you away from the show a bit and that's all one thing as well he goes to prison and they manage to get him out with one line like, oh, I, I pulled off your strings with mallory you know i'd be i'm billy butcher i'm the fucking hardest cunt around and you go so even more pointlessness. Why put him in prison? Oh, so he can not see Kimiko and like ignore her and not want to see. Oh, I don't understand it. It's just lazy. I'll pull a few strings. Have an ep- a, a ten fifteen minute cool montage where they break him out. That would have been so cool. You know, Mallory hates Butcher, so why are they fucking on sides now? But anyway, 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 and. Frenchie killed or got her grandchildren killed. So you think she would pull a few... St- Jeez. There's a, there's a few times like that where they just sort of brush over think, ah, don't worry about it. I just did this there and there off screen. You're fucking... That. And I'm just like, this is dumb. It makes no sense. Huey was sidelined, you know, for a lot of it. Simon Pegg gets a heart attack. I mean, that was sad, I have to admit. Simon Pegg, him, oh, sad scene. They inject him with V. He goes on a mad fucking busty nut, killing loads of people in hospitals. No repercussions, nothing. They, in the next, after that, the next 10 minutes, they're walking around on a little park and he's scattering his ashes just in the fucking... What's it called? Like, communal space, the city. And no one's like, hmm... You two were just with this guy who's mysteriously died and killed a bunch of people, but we'll let you go back in years. You know, this is the boys where you don't get anything. Get away with anything. Nothing. I don't know why they brought them his mother into it. Like, I thought she was a spy or something. Like, I, you know, why is she in it in season four? Oh, because you can't have Huey sat there on his own with his dad. Well, don't do it in the fucking first place then, you pleb. I think... Billy Butcher has one of the best arcs, though, I have to admit, really does. His psychoactivity behaviour is quite relatable. And seeing this guy, what was he called, Kressler or something, and he's like this bad egg in his ear telling him this, that, and the other. He's got Rebecca, Rebecca, on his left, you know, telling him what's good, what's right, and that sort of thing. I like that. And, like, it's pretty clear that he wasn't real, though. Yeah, so Butcher has a fantastic arc. I bloody loved it, I have to admit. And Jeffrey Morgan is just uh, brilliant, you know what I mean? Uh, M.M. probably should have left and gone with his wife, but he didn't. <laughs> and he would regret that soon. Starlight. What the fuck has happened to her? Your body, your rules, dude. But that was a mistake, dog, dude. And she was pointless. She had no reason to be there. None. So in conclusion, I loved it. Great season. Um, I'm glad there are doing only one more. It's starting to run out of pace a little. How many times do you want someone climbing up someone's penis? You know what I mean? Like, it's it's getting repetitive. Gen V, I didn't actually finish that, so I was a bit annoyed because I didn't understand why them two were suddenly evil. But, you know, I'll catch up and I'll work that bit out myself. But yeah, thumbs up. Give it a watch. You probably have. I'm about three years late.